But anyway, here is Leo's head sculpt. And they did a great job of making these look like the inferior turtle suits. What is up, my dudes and dudettes? We are here for a very special unboxing. As you can see, we have the San Diego Comic-Con 2023 exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 Turtles in Time. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> um, anyway, the package is so big, I can't reach it from behind the camera. So, uh, I think I'm going to do a little B-roll on this. And here we have the front of the box. Don't mind that low-res image that they blew up the side of the box. Looks like the old VHS case. The back of the box. Finally, NECA is giving TMT collectors the figures they've been dreaming of. These time-traveling heroes in a half shell. I didn't read it all before I um, made my way down there. But here we go. Everyone involved in making these figures. And the side of the box. Now, this is where I point out that they missed an opportunity for the cut to make it look like a VHS box. The top. And let's slide that baby off of there. Oh, look at the tray shot. Oh, yeah. Them beautiful, beautiful boys. Have a look. Back of the box is what we can expect. Um, those in the bottom right corner there, those are the secret of the ooze turtles. And here are those handsome devils. Speaking of devils, see what's behind there? The backdrop is the scroll from the movie, showing them as demons there to uh, forsake the Shogun or, you know, ridicule his family or something. That's pretty cool. The TMNT3 San Diego Comic-Con 4-pack comes with everything you see here. Of course, we've got the brothers, some alternate heads and bandanas with their masks their weapons, some alternate hands, some swords, three versions of the scepter, the brand new one, the antique, and the one they made back in time. And we've got four robes for our turtle boys. Let's have a look at that up close. Accessories first, we have alternate head sculpts for each of the brothers. Here's Leo, looking mean. Raphael's alternate head sculpt. These are uh, like combat head sculpts, which look pretty cool, and I think it's really going to add some spice to the photography. So Mikey looks a little bit cross-eyed, but I, I think he's probably just focusing on somebody's fighting. But these are interchangeable with the 1990 movie and the Secret of the Used Turtles. Last but not least, we have our boy Donnie with his combat mean face, his warrior face. Pretty cool. They each have their own samurai mask. This one is Leo's. This one belongs to Raph. Here's Mikey's. And our boy Donnie. Oh yeah. Leo's swords, his katana, they look pretty cool. I like the uh, the paint app on them. The There's fuzz on there. The detail in the hilt with the wrap. It's pretty cool. And I like the, the metal paint they went with. That looks nice. Raph's size. So you can see they got some nice detail in the mold, but it just looks like two different paints. And that's it. I'd like to see like the leather on there or something. Kind of look like they're wrapped in black tape. Mikey's nunchucks. They seem to be about the same as the ones that were in the 1990 packs. It has the the wire for posing. <laughs> Donnie's bow staff. Got a little wrap in the middle. Otherwise. It's just a long stick, eh? A nice saber. And another cool saber. That's pretty dope. 
the time scepter as it was when it was new. The time scepter as we see it in the beginning of the film. Look at that attention to detail. This is so cool. Like, ah. The broken glass. The, that's just, oh man, that's so cool. The time scepter they made once they lost the original and their uh, last ditch effort to get home. And then they dropped it in a well. Spoiler alert. That's so cool. So cool. Let's get to the alternate hands. Here we have a pair of pointer fingers. Oops. Here we have a pair of pointers. Look at the detail work in there. It's pretty cool. Pair of fists. Pair of open hands. Looks like it's the give me three. Uh, relaxed open hands is what this makes me think of. And the semi grippy hands, which tend to usually be the uh, get Raphael to hold his size in that cool way hands. That's what I use them for anyway. Then we got four of these robes, which I uh, feel like they have a wire in them. Yeah. Got a wire in them for some posability. Uh, they're all three of them are the same except for this one, which I'm assuming is Leo's. I haven't tried putting them on yet, but I'm guessing those for his sword scabbard. And they each come with a helmet that is removable. So you can see it fits over the knot of their bandana. All right, so first let's use Donnie here to go over the articulation. Uh, their heads are removable, they're on a ball, so you have that full 360, the uh, up, the down, and then rocking side to side. For the shoulders, we'll go up to about a 90. We have, it's just a joint with a pin, but there is also a butterfly. And for our elbow, it is a single pin elbow, which will go to 90, and it does rotate as well. For our hands, for the hands, it's the pin on a hinge. We do have full rotation, but it's a little weird because of the, uh, the robe there and the sculpt of the clothing a waist cut for rotation maybe i'll just clip this in you'll notice it's not donny <sighs> for the hips we can do pretty much full split we have ball joints in there for front to back let's see not a whole lot and that is due to the sculpt of the pants. For the knee, we have rotation. And we have about a, about a 90, 90 degree there. So if you look in there, we have a double pin on the knee. But the mold doesn't really give you much room for uh, articulation. So, kind of wasted the, the dual pin, if you ask me. And for the feet, we have the pin with the hinge, the rocking, the rolling. Now, before we have a close-up look at the molds, I just wanted to point out the differences between uh, the four. Aside from the head sculpt, obviously, because there are very few. You'll see the belt is the same. On three of them, oh, you'll say, no, no, Mikey's different. But if you turn him to the side, you'll see he also has that, this here, that dual knot. Uh, Donnie is the only one with a different belt. His doesn't have the knot. It has, I don't know, some other sort of tie. And then it's also twisted. So the belt is different on Donnie. And on Leonardo... They have his strap for his uh his swords in there. 
So aside from that, they're all exactly the same. Okay, and now here they are, all are holding their weapons. Uh, I think it's time to have a look at them up close and personal. We'll start with Leo, and we'll have a look at all the details on here because from this point on, they're all exactly the same. Exactly. So, let's get these other ones out of the way. Actually, I think it might not. It might just stay focused on Leo, and if so, let's do that right here then. We're going to go ahead and pop his helmet off. Ugh. It's hard to do while trying to keep it in frame. Let's see, it has that uh, ball thing in the back, that slot in the back that fits over this. And it's way easier to just push it forward until it pops on than it is to come down with it. But anyway, here is Leo's head sculpt. And they did a great job of making these look like the inferior turtle suits. Listen, that table scratchy scratchy. But yeah, that does not look like near as good as the first and second movie. So the exquisite attention to detail to downgrade the suits is there. Um, there's the one difference, his straps for the uh, his swords. But let's look at the detail of this overall. Like, look at the layered clothing there. And the armor plating. And this is all textured. Let's see if you can get a sense of that by zooming in it's all textured and look at the pattern on the robe that is so cool and there is uh the cut in the robe and you'll see this dent right here you'll see that on all of the turtles look at the detail there in his uh Let's get a wide shot of his back. Then you'll see the other layer of clothing. It's the ruffles. and It's a really cool looking mold, but it doesn't do much for the posability. Zoom in on this. Zoom, zoom. See the... Uh, I can stop shaking. Jeez. Got them shaky shakes. But uh you see the detail there. Like the folds in the armor there, the cloth armor where the lace is putting pressure on it. That, that's that is exquisite, man. <laughs> the ruffling of the robe there at the belt line. The turtle shell showing through. That is so cool. Yeah. The armor. Because these were the... Uh, these are uniforms or what? They're the honor guard for the, the Shogun, right? The belt looks cool. Looks like a knotted rope. Got another belt, which... I don't know why they didn't paint this. Oh, I forgot this point of articulation earlier. Sorry. There is a little bit, there is a, a waist cut for rotation. A waist cut for rotation. Maybe I'll just clip this in. You'll notice it's not Donnie. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, look at the texturing on the, on the pants. We get down here to the old bootsies. Look, looks like leather wraps. Look at the detail in there, the paint application of the armor. That is so cool. And also so fortunate that they happen to be wearing these two-toed sandals. Uh, the, the honor guard, whenever they, they traded places. That would have been very uncomfortable. Fit their big weird feet in regular sandals. Good thing the honor guard had weird feet. 
Okay, now that I've got their all their helmets off, it'll be easier. Let's just go look at the head sculpts since that's really the only difference. And as you can see, there isn't much of a difference. Like the eye shape is a little different. But look at Leo and Raph. They're very similar. Which I believe is movie accurate. Because <laughs> they were very similar models in the third movie. Because, dang. There's a big difference. Well, his, uh, his headband seems huge. But I guess it's made to fit with the helmet. And then Donnie and Mikey are pretty, pretty close too. They're pretty close, but uh, yeah, different enough. Just different enough. Now the real excitement is the alternate head sculpts, and I'll have we'll have a look at those real quick. Real quick though, I want to show you these models and their different head figurations because I haven't shown the masks and stuff so. We have normal, no helmet. Here they all are with their standard heads and their samurai masks and robes on. I gotta say these robes, they look better on than I thought they would. I was a bit skeptical as to like how they would look, but not bad. Okay, so the idea was to show you what each of their alternate heads looked like on the samurai body like because it looks cool it really modernizes the way they look but well i guess upgrades the way they look compared to you know these inferior inferior models here but the thing is is i believe the holes are different sizes you can see that's a smaller opening than this one here. So it makes it very hard to get the... Uh, now, this is from the first set, the first TMNT movie set. But it makes it really hard to get their heads on there. And see, it doesn't want to. I even heated it up, and it doesn't want to pop on. So I think the alternate heads are really better for the movie, the previous movie Turtles. But I just wanted to show it can be done. You need to switch the knot to the wide one that was on the old or on the TMNT3 head. But it can be done. See, here's Leo's. Uh, oh, well, see, it just popped right off. So maybe, I don't know if it can. Maybe it can, maybe it can't. But for display purposes, there's that. But I'll show you just how easily their heads pop back on let's line this up Put this out of the way and well, yeah it's on there see this goes right on but uh those other heads will not there <clears throat> you can get them on there but it's hard and obviously I have failed at it. Mine just fell off. So maybe they're not meant for these turtles. But I'm probably going to display them just as as they are here. Like with all their gear on. Because I think that's where they look the best. Now these other heads look great on the other turtles. Like here's Donnie's alternate head on the first movie figure. And that looks awesome. This is probably the, the part that I'm most excited about are these alternate heads. <laughs> Stop looking at them! <laughs> like Donnie, this alternate head. We got Raph here. I put it, put his alternate head on the, uh, the first movie Turtles as well. I love these alternate heads. Actually, let's let them be the star of the show now. Uh... Oh, yeah, I put Mikey's alternate head on. <laughs> Since Mikey was, like, smiling in his, uh, and, like, his other ones, they're not too different. But, you know, still looks, looks pretty cool. The alternate heads are where it's at with this set, for sure. What I do with, what I do with Leo? Oh, yeah, Leo's alternate head. Let's get this stuff off. 
office space here. Leo's alternate head. Just imagine that on probably you know here or or maybe uh, on the Soto. Those colors match closer at least. But yeah, I like these. I like these uh, alternate heads. They're really cool. Anywho, let's have a... I'm probably going to throw in some 360 shots of the other... Of the TMNT 3 Turtles. And maybe a few with these alternate heads. And uh, just give my overall thoughts on the line. On the this set, that is. Like and subscribe. Here's Leonardo from TMNT3 and his figure from the first movie with the alternate head on there. Looks great. I love those alternate heads. But check out the detail on the TMNT3 figure. It looks really nice. I love that wire they put in the robe. See, it looks like it's blowing in the wind there. He's pointing off in the distance like, what is that? Really nice. Really nice touch. Um, uh, there's no audio for these, so I'm recording this post and I'm guessing it's probably going to sound better than the rest of the video. Here is Raph. Uh, I really like that pointer finger and how he can hold his sigh in a little more dynamic way. There we can see a little better as we zoomed in, but look at that alternate head sculpt. I think the reference for that one was from the first movie where he, uh, ran up and was kicking some foot soldier butt when he had his uh, trench coat on to get his side back. You know, he was rescuing April. Um, but I'm guessing the audio is probably going to sound better on this portion, and it's going to make me think about just doing narration from here on out. Here's Mikey, the party dude, and even on his alternate head sculpt, where it's supposed to be like a battle cry, but he, he still looks like he's having fun. You just can't take the party out of that turtle. Take the part tur ah. Take the turtle out of the party, but you can't take the party out of the turtle. Ugh. Man, that was hard to say. But uh, yeah, look at the sabers. I like the sabers too. Those were a nice touch. Speaking of the accessories, check out that homemade scepter. I love the details they put in the, these accessories. They are great. But I'm a sucker for purple, so of course this is my favorite of the four. Plus, I like Donnie the most. But check out Donnie's aggressive battle face. I don't know what the reference was for that one. Uh, I think it might have been the first movie, but it makes this dynamic pose look amazing. Here's the last shot. We've got TM and T3 in the back and the alternate heads on the 1990 TM and T figures in the front here. I got to say my favorite part probably got to be the battle faces. I mean, especially Donnie. He hasn't had he hasn't had a battle face and then like I think his mouth is closed in the first and second movie figure, so I think that looks really cool. Oh, that's so cool. Um otherwise the the new figures, the new full figures, they look Great. Attention to detail is awesome. It kind of sucks that they're all for the exact same mold. Um, but they look good. They're not very poseable, but they look good. So they're going to be a great display item. I did have a couple of QC issues. Uh, first off, with uh, Michelangelo, you'll see here that his joint for his knee is in sideways. See, there's the bendy bit, but his leg is, you know, kicked off to the side there. And I can't fix it. I might be able to do a boil and pop, but I'm probably just gonna get a hold of NECA, see if they'll give me a replacement. So that really affects his posability and, uh, yeah, so I'm not happy with that. Might be able to boil and pop it out of there, but I don't want to have to. 
The other QC issue was I was pulling this as one of uh, the default hands from Donnie. And as I was pulling it out of his wrist, this came apart. Like I had to get some pliers to get this part out of the arm. Um, that shouldn't have happened. Doesn't matter how cold they were or whatever. That shouldn't have happened. The hinge ripped right out of that hand. Ooh. My other complaint are the default hands. They don't hold the weapons. Like uh, Leonardo's, he, he does. But since they all have, um, see, so yeah, this is, yeah, this is the default hand, one of them. Now, I'm going to take one of Raph's size, stick it in there. Look. Oh. Oh. Let's take Donnie's staff. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So, and there's only one set of hands that are closed, uh, like grippy hands. And then you have the pointy one that I'm using for Raph holding one of his size. So you're going to have to be picky and choosy on who gets to actually hold their weapons. That I did not like. I didn't like that. Uh, we need more weapon holdy hands. Come on, now they should all be able to hold their dang weapons. And it's the same on the default weapon uh, hands with Mikey. Actually, he's holding these swords with the default hands because but they're so daintily, barely in his hand, you see. So swords work. The smaller weapons do not, and uh, the bow staff. Otherwise, they're great looking. They look good in the fact that they look like the third movie. They look like the inferior suits. But when you put all of their gear on there, I think they're pretty good looking figures. And if you want to spend the money, you can get for about 75 bucks um, Mythic Legions by Dark... Uh, I think it's the Four Horsemen. Uh, it's a toy line. You can get these horses that will scale with them great. I don't have any of those, so I won't be showing those off. But otherwise, uh, I mean, it's a good set. 150 bones, not bad. I think I don't know if they'll be releasing these in two packs later on down the road, but if they do, I'd say get them. If you want to complete the look, if you want to have all three movie turtles, for sure. Um, they're probably my least favorite out of the three sets that I have. But it pretty much goes, the, the figures pretty much go in order with the movies. The first line, the first movie figures. Oh, these, I think, are probably the best of the three lines of figures. My main complaint with uh, the secret of the use being that they, they took this part of the mold of the suit, like that undershell, that soft undershell, way too far, and none of the turtles can look up at all because they took that so far up the neck. That's why I put the alternate heads on the first movie turtles because you see they didn't go up as far with that and turtles can actually look up a little bit huh huh what's going on up there what is it and this raft's like i don't know I got, this is as far up as i can look i gotta break my back huh yeah so Use that full range of motion, that up, that down, that side, that side, and hit that notification bell, that like button, that subscribe button, hit all that, eh? I'm walking here, I'm walking. No, but for real, uh, cool set, I'm glad to have them. Not my favorite. The accessories look really cool. Like, I love the detail in in the uh the scepter the time scepter like look they've got the writing and and all that and then you look at the and you look at the broken one from like current days oh man like stuff like that so cool the detail in these figures is great 
but they're all the same mold. But I guess that would be because, you know, they're in the honor guard uniform. So everything's going to be the same. It's going to be uniform. Also, watch out. These pointy little hats, they can hurt. They can hurt you. Anyway, that's TMNT3, San Diego Comic-Con, um, you know, 2023 exclusive, whatever. That's what they look like. I like them. I'd say buy them. 150 not bad. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure I would pay 300 bucks like uh, what I've seen going on eBay. I don't know about all that. I'd probably wait around and get the uh, the two packs, which are most likely going to be coming out. I don't know. I would assume so. They did with the other two movies, so why would they stop at three? Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this sort of stuff. And uh, here's Leah's head saying goodbye.